I'm gonna clean up here a little bit. I am uh, a sweaty mess. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's give everybody a minute to get on. I've got uh, some things I want to share with you. And uh, kind of what I said there in the post, I've got some rants, I've got some ahas, I've got some observations uh, that I believe are going to help you. I believe are going to help you in your life. So if you're, uh, if you're open to, uh, to some information, if you're coachable, give me some heart, you know, put below. I'm open, I'm coachable. And uh, I'm gonna get to my, my car, just leaving the gym. And uh, wow, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Guys, I hope you're having a great day. You know, uh, I'm always thinking about you guys. You know, uh, my, uh, my family, my friends here on social media. Social media has been incredible to us. You know, I got in to Facebook on 2009 because some people invited me uh, regarding some information on a high school class reunion. Little did I know that in 2009, social media would represent for this old dog to learn some new tricks and build very, very strong international businesses. And that's not what my rant is about. I'm just, uh, I'm humbled by all of you. Uh, I'm uh, blessed to be connected with each and every one of you and I'll tell you what the real blessing is when I can travel somewhere with my family or even by myself sometimes and um, and I get to meet people in person but in uh, many of you I have so uh, listen I want to I want to just kind of listen I'm gonna be all over all over probably here for about 10 minutes 15 minutes not gonna be very long at all but uh, <coughs> as a matter of fact I probably have hours and hours of content for you but uh, we're not going to make this uh, uh, hours and hours long. Hey there, let me see who's on here. Hi, Lynn. La Kenya. Miss Porter, how are you? And so, uh, listen. <clears throat> uh, in the title there, you see that I'm talking about mental toughness, mediocrity. And, of course, I'd be remiss if I don't go into... The business that feeds my family, the one that feeds, every, you know, yesterday we got a great weekly check and that's not what this is about either. But, uh, and I'll tell you what, Luzaj and I talk all the time that how, that our new company, our very baby immature company is barely getting started and I'm already seeing people quit. They have no mental toughness. But first let me talk about this. I was just at the gym. I'm just, see, I've been out of the gym. In fact, I'm out of breath. Now, I'm a sweaty mess and I'll tell you why I'm a sweaty mess because I went in the gym right now and I kicked some but I did some circuit training right and I've been out of the gym a while I'm gonna kind of kick off on November 1st you're gonna see a fitness challenge uh, you know I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get back in shape I used to be in incredible shape and I'm tired of making excuses I'm tired of saying manana and so November 1st I'm gonna kick it May 31st is my birthday so basically I'm gonna use a seven month marker right I'm gonna measure my fitness goals in a week in seven months I'm gonna be transformed right now I'll probably transform in 30 days 60 days but even that's not what it's about I was in the gym there and I got my hustle on right now on the elliptical machine and uh, like I said I'm a sorry I'm a sweaty mess and uh, but you know what I did I looked around and I saw mediocrity all around me Guys, all around me, I saw mediocrity. I saw some lady. Listen, I'm gonna keep it real. If you can't take the truth right now, go ahead and uh, go, May May 21st, Monica. Great. You know, if you can't handle the truth right now, please, I don't want to offend anyone. Just get off this Facebook Live because I'm a, I'm gonna keep some things real, right? Respectful but real. There's a lady, three uh, three machines from me, way, way, way overweight. She's sitting down, not standing up on the elliptical like I am. She's on one of those sit-down bikes. She is going so slow, and she's so overweight that she's going so slow, she's almost going in reverse. I don't know what she's doing here, wasting her time. She probably tells her friends, I get in the gym five or six days a week, and I don't know why I'm not getting healthy. I don't know why I'm not, I mean, that lady's 50, 60, 70 pounds overweight. God bless her heart, right? But what I'm talking about is mediocrity. 
coming to the gym. She was looking at her phone the entire time texting and barely moving those pedals ever so slowly, right? She didn't, she didn't work up a sweat like I did. She didn't do anything, guys. That's mediocrity. Then I looked over to the right and I saw this couple. They're not actually a couple. There was a man and a woman happened to be next to each other. They're staring off in the distance. They're on these machines and they'll do a little bit of exercise for 30, 45 seconds as they do a, a set of reps. And both of them, you think they were part of the same club. They weren't talking to each other, so they didn't know each other. And they just stare off into the distance. Again, a sea of mediocrity. Gosh, man, I am, I'll tell you what. You know, see, some people say, Al, how come you succeed? You know, and I always wonder, I'm not anyone special. I'm the son of a truck driver. My mom was a stay-at-home mom and a seamstress. I grew up in, in inner city Los Angeles, right? Uh, no silver spoon in my mouth. And you know what I always realize? I got my hustle on. I was selling combs and seeds and whatnot when I was a Boy Scout door to door. When I was 15 years old, I got a job at a shoe store. I worked every weekend, every holiday, every summer for three and a half years, right? You know, you don't have to be a big shot, guys. You just have to be a little shot, but you got to keep on shooting. And so to finish my example in the gym, it was such a disappointment. I'll tell you what. I identified a couple people I had their hustle on. There was a man that was probably at least 65 years old on, the, on, a, on a bicycle. He had some good momentum. He was working up a sweat. He had his hustle on, right? So it doesn't matter how old you are, and yet I see all these young people. I see this other guy doing biceps, and it's silly. I'll just, I just tell you, it's silly. I saw another guy who's all buff. Have you ever seen these guys? I mean, the guy had big shoulders, big arms, big chest. And then he walked out from behind the machine, and you can tell he has not worked his legs in 11 years, right? You hear what I'm saying? Um, you know, that's some bad decisions. Maybe that's not media. I don't know if that's mediocre, but that's some bad decisions. And so I looked over to, uh, there was a little class for the elderly in this uh, private room there, probably 15, 20 people. You know, they made me smile because they're out there. They're more active. They're smiling. They're enjoying. Everybody else, I just don't get it, guys. And so... Let me let me transition <clears throat> to some things that I want to talk to you about. You know, uh, people tend to uh, yeah, little legs, right? That's uh, never skip leg day, especially if you're a guy. <laughs> and so, uh, listen, the gym sort of inspired this rant because I started thinking about a number of things. Why don't more people have more success? in network marketing. And I'm just talk, talking about my company. Why don't more people, right? They say they want success. Now, I'm not talking about the people who don't get in, right? There's the people say, I have no time. I have no money. I will do it, but. You know, you don't understand, but, right? They got a real big but. I'm not talking about them, right? Give me some hearts if you know what I'm talking about, right? Hopefully, I'm not going to start. I'm not going to preach too much to you, but it's all about really doing a few simple things, right, guys? Network marketing. Network marketing. Most people, I think, don't get it. There's only two things you got to do in network marketing, right? First, let me give you a little joke, right? People get two things wrong in network marketing. You know what two things they are? Networking and marketing. <laughs> they get two things wrong, networking and marketing. Do you know what I'm saying? You got to network, guys. You got to talk to people. I always give these football analogies. You got to move the ball forward. Now, if you want to be a landing page, sales video, sales funnel, online marketer, do that. If you want to put uh, home parties in action, do that. If you want to get on the phone and call family, friends, leads, whatever, do that, right? But I don't see people getting their hustle. I see a C. You know, it's a shame, you know, because I'm really a positive guy. But, you know, the reason that some of you stand out is because you just got your hustle on. And, and, and a lot of people that I see on here get their hustle on. So I'm not preaching at you. But if you're ever frustrated, it's unfortunate. The reason people don't win is because of mediocrity. Because of what I saw in the gym there. They go through the motions, right? They get up. You know, I mean, people could get up in their sleep and probably have breakfast, coffee, commute to work, sit in their cubicle 10 hours a day, come back and do it again and never wake up, right? And so, but in network marketing, guys, it doesn't work that way. You got to get your hustle on. You got to start selling some product. You got to sell some product. And you know what? Those of you that sell a lot of product, I got a little bit of news for you. Network marketing is about leverage. It's about duplication. It's about creating a residual income. If you don't have leverage in your life, 
you're making a big, big mistake. A huge mistake, right? You could sell products to the cows come home, and I think it's great for right now money. But if you're going to be in network marketing the right way, if you're going to enjoy the money and the time freedom, you've got to build a team, right? And guys, I want you to stop closing people so hard, right? I mean, I, I believe in closing, so I'm not saying don't close people, but you got to find people that want something more in life. We got to quit dragging our broke brother-in-law across the finish line. Your friend who's your neighbor, who's negative Nelly, she's probably not going to go diamond in your business right now. She could if she could, but I want you to sponsor up. I want you to go to people that smell the mirror, probably you, right? And so, um, but network marketing isn't all that complex, right? What you need to do is go out and gather some customers. Get your hustle on, Right? I mean, I got people on the team that are selling a massive amount of tea and they're out. So, people, And then I got other people say, do I have to reorder for October? Get your hustle on. What do you mean you got to reorder? You better be reordering not just one time a month. You should be reordering as much as you need to because you got to move product. Now, I don't want you to be garage qualified. I don't want you to buy $10,000 worth of product and move three hundred. dollars That makes no sense. I want you to order five hundred a thousand dollars worth of product and by the way if you're not in my business in your business you got to do the same thing right you got to order some product you know i got an unhappy face there a minute ago sounds like someone might feel some irritation listen i what if you're inspired by this great if you're irritated by this great i hope it blesses your life either way because some people just got to wake up right we got people checking I, i'll tell you the truth i got people say well uh they don't answer the phone down there at customer service right or they don't i sent five emails get your hustle on get your hustle on number one dial whatever you got to dial just job done but number two does that pay you a lot of money? Can you go sponsor some people? Because that's all going to happen, right? And this is not about, about uh, my company. I want to keep it somewhat generic. It's about a sea of me mediocrity. Do you know how easy it is for you to win? Do you know how easy it is for you to go out and create an income of five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month? It is much easier than you can even imagine. The problem is, People oftentimes, they got their ego in the way, they got excuses in the way, they're not coachable, and right, and they got some bad habits, or some of you, I'll tell you what your bad habit is, lack of action, lack of action. What's the difference, and it doesn't matter if you're in my company or in any company, because right now this is generic, what's the difference between the person making a half a million dollars a year in your business and the next person who can't? can't move any product, who can't sponsor anybody. The same product, same pay plan, same company, right? And so we got to analyze that. We got to quit blaming, right? There's always stuff we could blame, right? We can always say, well, they took too long for this. Uh, you don't understand, Al, but I don't know how to sell. Learn to how to sell. Al, you don't understand. I've never been a good recruiter. Learn to be a good recruiter. By the way, don't learn to be a good recruiter. You know what I want you to learn? Be a good sponsor. Bring people in, help them solve a problem, get them in action, and guess what you're doing? You're duplicating your business, you're creating volume, and you're teaching people the right habits. In fact, move from recruiter to sponsor. There's nothing wrong with the word recruit, but I want you to move really from the mentality of a recruiter, meaning big, big numbers, which is okay. You can go sponsor 20 people. You can sponsor two people, but get people started. Now, don't babysit them. They're not eggs and you're not a hen, so you don't have to, you don't have to sit on them so they can hatch, right? People say, Al, my team isn't moving. What do I do? Go sponsor 10 more, right? Go sponsor 10 more. And so, and guys, if you've not had success in network marketing, I'm going to humbly tell you that what you're doing is probably wrong. It has nothing to do with your ability or lack thereof. It has nothing to do if you live in California, New York, or in Michigan. It has nothing to do if you live in a big city or a small city. It doesn't matter if you speak one language or five languages, guys. Network marketing is not complex. It's a bunch of people doing a few simple things over a consistent period of time. But you've got to get people started. You know, so so many of you are secret agents, right? You know, you uh, you know, you spend more time doing the non-productive stuff, and there's only one thing that pays the network marketing, and that's volume, right? You need volume, 
And so, you know, uh, you know, we'll probably see some negative comments down there. By the way, if I see any negative comments down there, let me just reflect it back to you. It is a reflection of where you are. It is a rip. You could complain. Guess what? I just got my products last week and some of you know what I, you know, you don't know exactly what I made. So, you know, this is not, this is a no excuse zone. You want to go cry? You can go to your mama, right? And guys, I'm on fire right now. I'm going to go build a massive team bigger than we have. And I'm looking for people who are ready to step up. You're either coming with me or you can just go, you can right there, just stay right there in your victimhood about, you know, whatever's wrong in your life. Right. And those are the same people that, you know what, I, I, there's a person right now and I won't mention her name, but man, I'll tell you what, it's like the rain cloud is following her. Right. She, you know, she's either, you know, either her cat died, she's sick you know, the neighbor got run over. There's a, there's a tear in her beer. You know what? You attract those things in your life, guys. You got to start speaking positive words, right? My wife, Luz Angela is a master at that, right? And so, but listen, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do is, is I'm thinking about every day. Now, some of you may not like this and that's okay. Give me some hearts and give me some comments. If you'd like me to maybe begin a over on my business page, because I don't want to just grind people on my personal page, because you know what? You may not be interested in business and that's okay. You may not be coachable and that's okay, right? I'm not, you know, my mission isn't to change everybody's life, right? My mission is to help those that want to be helped, right? And so uh, to me, excuses are useless, right? I uh, you know, I just, I think excuses are useless. So if you want to maybe have me do a daily 10, 15 minute shot in the arm, it could be generic personal development. It could be the art of the invitation directly related to home business. I'll keep it generic. So if you're not on my, in my business, you can still use the information for you and your team. I just want to bless some lives. It is a way for us to connect. It is a way for us to convene daily. Maybe if all you do is get one idea that it fires you up and you make a difference in your life or someone's life. So if I get enough likes here, if I you know, and if I get enough comments here, then I'll start, you know, in the next day or two over on my business page, a daily generic a call. It'll, like I said, it'll be leadership. It'll be generic training. It'll be short. It'll just be something. It'll give you a daily thing to focus on and go apply it. Right. And so if, if, uh, if, if you want to do that, then let me know. You know, I'm look. I'm just looking for. By the way, I don't care if you're an Amway or in my company. I, I want to see you win. I I've never understood about this whole thing about people. You know, my scientists can beat up your scientists kind of stuff. You know, that's that's silly and it's amateurish. Yes, I'm a little bit on fire today, because you know what? I don't want anyone that's around me to be living in mediocrity. I want you to be living in abundance. I want you to be living in happiness. And if you do have challenges, which we all have challenges, I want you to learn how to handle those challenges. See, that's the problem, guys. We can't stop problems from coming. We can't stop challenges from coming. It's how you handle it. It's your attitude that makes 100% of the difference, right? People say, oh, well, she has no problems. No, everybody's got problems. We got, you, you might have financial problems, family problems, relationship problems, problems with your company, problems with your job, too much debt, right? Long commute, a lot of stress, health, whatever, but it's how you handle it, right? I've seen people with cancer with six months to live have better attitude than healthy people. What's wrong with that picture? What's wrong with that picture? Right. And we got to check ourselves, guys. And you know what? Same thing with me. Even though I'm a positive guy, sometimes I got to check myself. And that's why I stay in 10 to 15 minutes of reading every day. Every day I got to put some positive in. Right. You know, some spend way too much time on uh, politics, controversy, things you can't control. And it's no wonder you're a mess. I'm not saying some of those things are not important. I'm just saying don't major on the minors, right? Attitude makes the entire difference. And so guys, tonight I've decided tonight I am, even though this is generic tonight, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and do a Facebook live covers my business. If you're in my business, I invite you to attend. It will be unplugged. It will be direct. Bring your prospects uh, and, uh, and we'll put them in the business for you. We'll put them in the business. If you're not in my business, you're one of my Facebook friends, then come and check out what we're doing. Because I'll show you how you're going to make with just 20 people making $2,000 a month. I'll show you how to make a quarter of a million dollars a year. 
20 people making 2000 a month. I'll break it down to numbers. 20 people on your team making $2,000 a month is a quarter of a million dollars, and that's just one bonus. Okay. So, uh, anyway, guys, I uh, I love my uh, my, my family, both my family, uh, family friends, my, my business, and uh, I look at this as one big family, but it isn't just this team or that team. I want to see you all win. Here's the good news about network marketing, no matter what where you're at, whether you're on this team or that team or this company or that company. Network marketing is the great equalizer. There is room at the top for everybody. In fact, all those leaders at the top are always saying, come on, climb the mountain, climb the pyramid, if 